Hey guys, welcome to my baking channel. Today, we will be making soft vanilla cupcakes with American buttercream frosting. These vanilla cupcakes are really quick and easy to make. They are very soft with an irresistible buttery vanilla flavor. American buttercream is my favorite choice for basic vanilla cupcakes, but these go well with just about any type of frosting. I'm pretty sure that even unexperienced bakers are able to whip up these goodies in no time. So let's get started! For this recipe, we will be needing the following ingredients. You can also find the exact measurements in the description box below. Preheat your oven to 175 degrees Celsius. Also line a muffin tin with cupcake lighters and set this aside. In a small mixing bowl, sift in the 175 grams of all-purpose flour, 1.5 teaspoon of baking powder, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. In a large mixing bowl, beat together the 100 grams of softened butter, and 150 grams of sugar. Mix this on medium-high until the mixture turns light and fluffy. This will take about 3 minutes. Don't forget to scrape the sides of your bowl. Now, add the 2 eggs and 2 egg yolks, one at a time. Beating well after each addition, simply like this. I'm also just going to scrape the sides again to make sure that everything is well incorporated. Now let's add the 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract and give this another quick mix, just until everything is combined. We can now add in the flour mixture, alternating with 150 milliliters of buttermilk. Make sure to mix this on low speed, just until everything comes together. Do not overmix this. The less you mix, the lighter your cupcakes will be. Don't forget the scraping! This is how the mixture should look like. We can now fill them into our cupcake liners. I am going to use an ice cream scoop to fill my cupcake liners. This way, I can be sure that each cup has about the same amount of the mixture. We can now place the cupcakes into the oven and bake them for about 15 to 20 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. The cupcakes are now done baking. I transferred them onto a cooling rack to let them cool completely. So let's continue to make the American buttercream frosting. In a medium mixing bowl, sift in the 300 grams of confectioner's sugar and put this aside. Now we can add our 280 grams of softened butter into a large mixing bowl and mix this for about 5 minutes. You really have to beat your butter until it becomes light or else your buttercream won't be that creamy. Can you see how the color and texture is starting to change? This is what we want, that pale color and smooth texture. 
We can now slowly add in the sifted confectioner's sugar. Now we can add the 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract and continue to mix this. We can now gradually add the 1 tablespoon of milk and just mix this until everything is well incorporated. This is the consistency we are looking for, smooth and creamy. Now comes the best part, frosting the cupcakes. I will be using a medium star tip today, and we are just going to cut off the tip of our piping bag like so. I'm just going to fill my pastry bag with a buttercream, simply like this. You could also just use a Ziploc bag if you don't have a piping bag, that's also totally fine. There are so many ways to frost cupcakes. I'm just going to keep it simple today and start around the outside of the cupcake and come around in one big circle and slowly make a swirl, just like so. A cupcake is not a cupcake without the sprinkles. That's what my son always says. He will be sprinkling the cupcakes today. Look just what a pro he is. He can't wait to finally eat the cupcakes. So these are my finished cupcakes. I'm just going to take a cupcake and show you how it looks like in the inside. Look how great they turned out. They are so soft and just perfect with the American buttercream frosting. If you want to brighten up someone's day, just make them some cupcakes. Seriously, you can never go wrong with cupcakes. I know that I made my little boy extra happy today. I hope you liked my video today. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button for more yummy recipes. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!